Hello, everyone. It's my honor to introduce our work on factorization bandits for online influence maximization. Let's say a chocolate shop wants to promote a new chocolate product. It decides to give out some free samples to maximize the number of people who know this new product. Given the limited number of free samples, which customers choose this chocolate shop choose? This problem can be abstracted as an influence maximization problem. In influence maximization, with a given social network and the activation probabilities between the connected users, the algorithm needs to choose a set of most influential users, which can maximize the spread of information in this network. However, what if these activation probabilities are unknown? In this case, online influence maximization is needed. We are with sequentially learn the activation probabilities by trial and error. For example, at the first interaction, we pick some users and observe the spread of influence of these users, from which we get an initial estimate of these activation probabilities. Then, at the next interaction, we do another round of selection based on that. Then we get more observations and updated activation probabilities accordingly. During this online learning process. We need to consider the uncertainty in our online estimate because we have only limited observations. Multi-embedded solutions can help us make such decisions because it is under uncertainty. And then notice that in the previous learning framework, the activation probabilities on different edges are estimated independently. In this work, we want to ask this question. Are all these edges in the influence network independent? Our answer is not really. For example, in this subnetwork, the activation probability between U1, U2, and that between U1, U3 should be similar in some way because they all reflect the influence power of U1. Similarly, the activation probability between U2, U5, and that between U4, U5 should be similar in some way because it all reflect the susceptibility of U5. This simple example indicates the existence of network authoritativity in the influence network, which is largely ignored in most of the online influence maximization literature. To realize this network authoritativity, we assume each user in the network is associated with an influence factor and a susceptibility factor. The activation probability on an edge is jointly determined by the giving node's influence factor and the receiving node's susceptibility factor. By modeling the network authoritativity, independent edge level activation probability estimation is no longer needed. Instead, the existence of node level influence and susceptibility impose a low rank structure of the influence network, based on which we propose an online factorization bandit learning solution, which can greatly reduce the sample complexity during this online influence maximization process. If you want to know more about our work, please visit the following links or come to talk to us during the conference.